this is a dear me which is basically a video of me talking to my younger self in my say late teens early 20s just for a bit of advice to myself because I know some people assume I have all the answers all the time but this may actually show that I don't but we'll wait and see what it, how it turns out because I haven't actually decided what I'm going to say yet first bit of advice buy a house the house prices are still dirt cheap and you can get it paid off within no time just concentrate on getting a job doesn't matter what the job is get the money in get the house paid get tenants in there live in the city room and rent the rest of the rooms out <laughs> that's the first bit of practical advice um my father's sister did the same and i don't know how many properties they own in london but i know the one they bought in cash in brighton was a million pounds so get a house early because there's multiple reasons later in this video that i'll cover now i've just thought of it next thing is education Bear in mind a lot of the qualifications that I've done over the years, I could have probably had done without. I studied in electronics and as such, as soon as I graduated, IBM laid off 100,000 people in the 90s recession, late 80s. So electronics, I would have been better off going with electrical. I would have been better as an electrician, but hey-ho, we live and learn. So best advice to myself then is study electrics then move on to carpentry do the two because there is so much work out there for that combination because you can flip between the two um, as I eventually ended up doing on the uh, exhibition circuit don't always accept the jobs that are around you one of the things I learned a few years on if I'd known earlier I'd have done it is that where Worcester sits it has the worst paying in the area you know some of the worst paying in the region Birmingham paid at least one third more London paid three four times more for the same skills so even if you work for the same company um, if it's a London based firm you're gonna get paid more also learn to have no loyalty to companies Companies generally have no loyalty to employees. We're sold the fact that we should be loyal, but we forget that they're not loyal to us. It may sound rather negative now, but later on you'll remember, go mercenary. Take the agency route and take as much money from them as possible. You owe them nothing. Um, that's that. <laughs> Relationship-wise, don't bother. Um you'll find that it's much better to concentrate on the other important things on life and avoid married marriage in the UK which I did even now I've never been married in the UK but I have a great wife now but I know if I had ever married previously I would have lost a lot of cash and probably had a lot of liabilities so strong advice never marry in the UK never marry a British woman and I know that may sound pretty blunt and horrible to some people out there but unless they actually change the the bias rules in the UK then I recommend stay, staying well clear of it also for the child rights access to children is very difficult and is very very biased um, I remember a while back for mediation there is the child courts for gaining access the first thing they want is access to your finances and also these courts are private you can actually be prosecuted for sharing the information and what their outcomes are so you can't protect yourself either in the courtroom or outside the courtroom so don't have any kids in the UK either um, although I will say I'm very happy with Nicole but I'm just saying from the legal point of view it's just a nightmare and I, if I was doing it twice I couldn't really change anything because I love my daughter but at the same time if somebody asked me would I recommend having kids I would say not in the UK purely because of the access problems and the cash cow scenario pushing that aside um, work opportunities travel more travel more sooner I should have gone to Asia and the Middle East 10 years earlier and I would have been far far richer and wiser and happier 
I'll be honest with you, that the opportunities in the Middle East financially are huge, but also you have the opportunities to travel and experience Asia and other parts of the world that many people don't even bother to look at. Uh, it's something that is close to me now because now we've got a new vehicle coming today. I've just let something out the bag. Uh, but the fact is, for me, that was a big sigh of relief and big smile as it opened up Spain to us today. Travel as much as you can when you can. Travel locally. I know, well, yeah, in a few years' time, you will actually spend a lot of time in Devon and Cornwall. But I would also recommend spending more time in Scotland, where obviously I came from. So... I recommend spending more time there and getting more in touch with your roots because currently you don't have any, um, which is why you have no um, loyalty to... I wouldn't say... Is it loyalty? I have no allegiance to anybody because I have no roots with anybody. I have no roots with a country. There, there's just nothing there. Even my youngest childhood was spent all over the world traveling with the British military, so... I couldn't have allegiance to the military because that's a whole nother story. But lighten up. Life will get better continuously. But the main focus is work hard young and enjoy it later. And this is where we are now. We worked hard, but we worked hard later on. We should have been working from our early age instead of our mid age. <laughs> So there, now I could have actually been in a very good position. It's all your fault. You didn't work harder when you were younger. Um, but joking aside, learn to make money online. It's going to become huge. And although it may seem irrelevant now because the birth of the Internet hasn't happened yet, uh, not in the way everybody thinks it works now, but I know it existed back then, but how we understand it is not the way people understand it today videos learn to get into the youtube stuff before even youtube arrives so that you can have a backlog of stuff that follows things through your whole life because people love that information tracking the philippines when you move there eventually track it from day one all the way through we did we made the mistake of not tracking any of that and I can hold my hands up. There's one of Matt's mistakes. He didn't track everything properly. We do have about 60,000 photos of the Philippines. But slideshows don't really work in the same way these sort of videos of communication work. Um, so please buy a camcorder and use it with everything. Because everything from the small stuff of how people catch fish in the Philippines to how people harvest coconuts to... Um, the big festivals people are interested in all around the globe and eventually you will be able to make money off it all and then leave it ticking over so you can travel more and keep these incomes ticking over what else can I say I've covered relationships I've covered finances I've covered um, yeah the investments you need to start early that's why I said get the house the reason you want the house in the UK is you can rent it out when you're overseas. When you go to the Philippines, the initial cost is about a hundred to hundred and yeah, about a hundred pounds a month. Where the house would be in Worcester, you would have an income of about four hundred a month, which means if you set aside a hundred for repairs, and maintenance, you still got two hundred spare a month that you can slowly build up. Hang on, the phone's ringing. The most important things though is don't take life so seriously. Um, I know I say. Do this, do that, do this. But that that's an easier path in life. But at the same time, a lot of people forget to have fun. Enjoy life, but at the same time, don't just party as much as you used to. You're better off banking the money rather than blowing it every week like everybody else does. <laughs> Struggle a little bit earlier on, and life gets easier later. Um, if you'd done it years ago, I'm sure I'd be sitting semi-retired now rather than still working but enjoy life be happy and experience as much as you can